Yeah, that's the way we have to ask God for forgiveness. That's the way God's, again, his mercy is still extended to the human family. Thank even you, Jesus. after we Thank were you, Jesus. made alive. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jesus. Because sometimes we don't have, we don't, we don't always have the mind of Christ. That's true. Sure. We're striving to walk upright, but sometimes we're not always walking upright. In other words, we're not fully developed. Mm -hmm. We're not complete yet. Amen. But mm -hmm. we are a work in progress. Yes, we are. So we keep on working towards perfection. Mm -hmm. But we have to keep striving, say. Yes, sir. Right. That's right. Thank you, Every Jesus. one of us. Yeah. Right. Thank you, Lord. Sometimes, sometimes when you don't feel like striving, think about who's watching you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, sir. Sometimes it may be your child. Sometimes it may be a total stranger. But they're getting encouraged by the way that you walk and the way that you're conducting yourself. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's why sometimes that's an unction to say, hey, that, I, let me shift it in another gear and just, just keep on moving. Keep yes, on sir. pressing. Thank you, Jesus. Why? Because someone is watching me. You know, the Bible talks about how all of us, we are an open epistle. Yes. In other words, yes. you open the Bible, you read things. Some people can read things in your life. Mm -hmm. They can yes, see sir. how you conduct and carry yourself. And then they'll patternize themselves after you. Now suppose yes. you are a, a, a wicked person. And here come a person that's going to patternize himself after you. Mm -hmm. You don't want oh. that. Not in call, calling and considering yourself a child of God. Thank you, Jesus. Verse 2 again. Wherein in time past you walked according to the course of this world. Mm -hmm. According to the prince of the power of the air. Mm -hmm. The spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience. It's a spirit. That's what it is. Satan is a spirit. Mm -hmm. You know, oftentimes say, you can see one person today, they could be so nice, and you can still see that person either later on that day or the next day, and you be like, is that the same person? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you have to be able to understand spirits. Yes. If another Jesus. spirit get in the individual, they're going to act different. That's right. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Oftentimes I tell people I'm not a police officer, but I can just imagine some of the things that they encounter on a natural do on a daily duty of work. Hmm. To us, we would say, why did that why did they shoot that person? Why did they do that to that person? If you got into their shoes and that person was coming after you and you don't know what they're gonna do and you tell them to stop or whatever, they're supposed to we are taught to obey them law. Mm -hmm. When they the tell us to stop, we're supposed to stop. You know, but sometimes people that are under the influence of drugs or alcohol or whatever they may be on, or even the, the spirit right. of mm -hmm. evilness may be upon that individual. Right. And then they come full force at a, at, at a police officer. It's either your life or their life. Mm -hmm. And a police Did officer is taught to kill you. To wound you. They're not really taught to wound you. I heard one say they're taught to kill you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So let that be a lesson even to the young Y'all young men and young women. And the reason I say young men and young women because sometimes the young women, they'll be fussing and fussing and, you know, I ain't gonna, you know, I'm not going to submit. God tell us to submit mm -hmm. to the laws of the land. Yes, yes. yes. When God yes. tells us to do that, Regardless of what you feel like doing, you better obey God. Because sometimes, it's, a lot of times, it's going to save your life. Amen. Yeah. Amen. It'll save you some embarrassment. Yeah. Yes, it will. It'll save you some jail time. Amen. Yes, yes, sir. But, in other words, just be submissive. Thank you, Jesus. We have to learn to be submissive, first of all, to our parents. Mm -hmm. And then after our parents, sometimes it's authority. And once you find yourself submitting to those things, you'll find it easy to walk with the Lord. Right. Why? Because the Lord is always telling us stuff to do. All we have to do is submit to it. Amen. But Thank you, Lord. This is one of the hardest things to, to make submissive is our flesh. Yes, it is. Thank I ain't going to do that. I ain't going to do that. Keep on not going to do that. When it's time to be saved, you're not going to enter in. And I always Amen. want to be saved. Amen. So we have to learn to be submissive to the word of God first. Yes. Yes, sir. God is the word. Yes, he is. When yes. God talks yes. to us, 
The word talks to us. That's God talking to us. Amen. Yes, it He's is. He's instructing us on how to be. Submit yourself to them that are in authority. Mm -hmm. I ain't going to submit. I ain't going to submit. Some people just got that in their mind. Mm -hmm. Why? Mm -hmm. Be submissive to your husband. Mm -hmm. Sometimes that's hard. Mm -hmm. you know, I, I have a saying, I say it like this. And I say it over. If a woman don't want to be submissive to her husband, she should never get married. Amen. Mm -hmm. I'll say it again. Mm -hmm. If a woman does not want to be submissive to her husband, she should not get married. That's right. mm -hmm. You can fall on a knee. Will you marry me? No. No. <laughs> Why that, no? Say that, Rick. <laughs> yeah, that's all right, sir. I don't want to be submissive. Be honest. Mm -hmm. Save yourself some headaches and save him some headaches. Yeah. Amen. God knows. There's going to be some trying some time. Amen. I, I remember reading, I think it was uh, Esther, how she became queen. The, the king called for, 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 for his wife, and his wife didn't want to come. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Push it to the side. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But nevertheless, verse 2 again, Wherein in time past you walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience. Mm -hmm. Anytime you're disobedient, whether you're a young child, because we're all children. I don't want to categorize it by saying young children because it's, it's talking to us as grown children because we're all yes. children. Yes, Lord. But anytime we're not submissive to the word of God, we're being disobedient. The spirit of disobedience is working in us. Right. So we have to strive to get away from that spirit of disobedience, not let that spirit enter into our mind, our heart, our ears. Nowhere about us. Just be submissive to the word of God. Yes. And then yes. everything, everything will be okay. Thank Verse 3, just Verse 3, among whom also we all had our conversation in times past in the lust of our flesh, fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the mind, and were by nature the children of wrath, even as others. In other words, we were out there, Satan was talking to us, and we were just being obedient to Satan. Just children of disobedience. Among whom also we, ha we all had our conversation in time past, in the lust of our flesh, fulfilling the desire of the flesh and of the mind, and were by nature the children of wrath, even as others. Well, I can remember when we were in probably middle school or whatever. You're talking about wrath. Mm. Man, kids would fight up something. They would just fight. Why? Just being children. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I, I, I look back, and I, was, I, I used to fight too, so I, I'm not just saying children. I was a part of those children. I wasn't no big fighter, but I will fight. <clears throat> you know, and I'm quite sure right about, there, a lot of us will. It's all right, Rick. <laughs> but I wasn't no, I'm not no, I wasn't no big guy. I was a little skinny little boy. But, hey, you hit me, you know, I was like, hit me again, you know. It all depends on how big you were. Hit me again. <laughs> All right, you got one more time. You know, all right. <laughs> but, I, hey, when I got enough, you're going to get it. I may not win, but I'm going to fight you back. I'm not teaching that to the point that you should fight. I always remember Bishop Reed said this, and, and it's the truth. You back a cat up in the corner, he's going to come out. Mm -hmm. So that must be a true saying, huh? Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, with my children, I, I, I try not to teach them to fight, but I, you know, I, I still taught them, you know, don't, you know, don't let nobody just be hitting on you. You know, you know, I don't, you know, it's like, you know, as a parent, you know, you don't want to have a child that's just going around beating up on people, but you do want to have a child that's going to defend themselves or defend their siblings. Or something. You know, but again, I'm not going to teach you to fight. What am I saying? Fighting is already in you. Mm -hmm. and, you know, and you watch little kids, hey, they get, brothers and sisters, they get enough of them and they snatch away and hit at you. But it's in you. Mm -hmm. yeah. it's in you. So mm -hmm. by being in you, you know, there's a difference between the people of God and the people of the world. Yeah. Yes, sir. The people of the world fight like this. And girls. People of, 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 of the Lord, we fight like this. Amen. 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 Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, then. Amen. Like this. With this, I can win more right. battles. Amen. 
Amen. And I don't have to live, as they say, I don't have to lay a finger upon you. Amen. Right. That's right. But I pray the word, for sir. you and I pray right. to the Lord. And the Lord said he'll fight out of that. Yes, he did. Amen. He said, vengeance is mine. I will repay. And trust me. If anybody ever been, as they say, attacked by the Lord, my Lord. That ain't good. Yes, Lord. You know, I, I can look at some stories even in the Bible. That ain't good. No. Thank you, Jesus. One time, the Bible talked about how the earth opened up. Yes, it did. Yep. People fell in it. They were never seen again. Mm -hmm. right. Lord. The Bible talked about how children one time was calling old prophet, old bald head, old bald head. You know how sometimes we as kids, we have done things. Bible talk about there was two she bears that came and devoured those children. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What am I saying? You have to be careful, saying. That's true. Fight. God against it. Verse Amen. four. Verse four. But God, who is rich in mercy, yeah. for His yeah. great love wherewith He loved us. Yeah. See right there. Mm -hmm. Out of all of that that we used to do. My Lord. Thank My God Lord. for his mercy. Yeah. Thank yes, you. Jesus. Thank you. He didn't say mercy. He said great mercy. Great mercy. Great Lord. mercy. Yes. Thank in you, other Jesus. words, we know that there was times when I should have been dead. Yes. I should have been wiped off the face of the earth. Yes, Lord. But because of God's great mercy, great. Yes. I'm saved. I'm here. Yes. I'm still in the land of the living. Thank you, Jesus. So that's why I say. We got a lot to give God thanks yes, for. Lord. Yes, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. It Thank wasn't you, nothing so great that we had done. Thank no, you, Jesus. Matter of fact, you, it was nothing that we'd done. It was be, it was simply because of the mercy of God. Mercy. Yes, yes, Lord. God looked beyond what we were and saw what we could be. Thank yes. you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. A lot of us couldn't even see where we could be. How many of us Thank even you, thought Jesus. that we would Thank be in you, the Lord. church today, Thank serving you, God, wow, singing Lord. praises to God, Thank worshiping you. God? Reading for God, doing this and that in the church. Yes. The Lord. And the Lord. But Thank God you, saved us yes, for this Lord. purpose. Thank, right? you. Thank you, Jesus. For this purpose. And we ought to give God thanks. We ought to give God praise. Yes. My Lord. Thank you, Jesus. It's not of us. It's no, not. Not. because of God. Thank but you, God, Lord. who is rich in mercy, for his mm. for his great love wherewith he loved us. Um, right? Verse 5, even when we were dead in sins, mm -hmm. hath quickened us together with Christ. By grace you are saved. Uh, yes, Lord. In other words, grace. We, would, we would not even fit for this. Yes, Lord. Not That's by the Jesus. works that we were doing. No, no. Robbing, stealing, committing adultery, fornication, Thank lying, you know, running with this gang, running with that group of people, mm -hmm. being disobedient to parents. Mm -hmm. All of that kind of stuff. We was not fit for this. Amen. But God. Thank God you, Lord. saw. God knew what he could make out of us. Yes. Yes. He's Thank a great Jesus. master builder. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes, he is. He's a great carpenter. Yes. Mm -hmm. He can Lord. make he can make he can make something out of nothing. Thank yes. you, Jesus. <laughs> Why? Thank you, Jesus. Because he's God. Yes. Yes. yes, Lord. Somebody else may look upon you. Oh, you did all that, you did all that. You ain't worth you ain't worth nothing. God said, though your sin be as scarlet, mm -hmm. he said, I'll wash you yes, white as snow. Yes, he did. And Thank who you can Jesus. do that but God? Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. No, no, you know, one thing about man. Thank you, Jesus. Man will send you according to your deeds. Yes, he will. God will, too. But God is a merciful God. Yes, he is. He can do that and be just in doing just what if he does, did that. Right. Thank you, Jesus. But because of his great mercy, Thank my Lord, Thank he saves us, eh? Thank you, Jesus. Yes, he Lord. calls us to sit right now in heavenly places. Heavenly places. Well, for Jesus. we were not even fit to be sitting in the church. Hallelujah. Not Thank with the deeds that we have done. Thank you, Jesus. I at least I speak for myself then. Yes, Lord. I was Hallelujah. not fit to be in the church. Thank but you, I thank Jesus. God that he changed me. Yes, yes, yes Lord. Lord. I thank, thank God that he's still working on me. Yes. Working on us, Why? Because I'm not complete yet. Yes. Thank, thank you, Jesus. But I'm still striving for complete. Why? Because 
There's going to come a time when this life is going to end, saints. Yes, it is. Yeah. It's going to end. Mm -hmm. But I pray that Brother Rick be white with the Lord. Yes. Hallelujah. I pray Thank that Brother Jesus. Rick be holy with the Lord. Yes, Amen. yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. God, did, God didn't wash me for nothing. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. God didn't give me the Holy Ghost for nothing. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I was washed to get out of sin. Thank you, Lord. Thank I was you, given Jesus. the Holy Ghost to help me to conquer things that yes, come upon me through this life. Yes, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. To save me so that when he come back for me, I'll be ready. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Ready. Thank so, you, saints, we all want to strive to be ready. Yeah. Verse 5. Verse 5. Even when we were dead in sins, have quickened us together with Christ, by grace we are saved, and have raised us up together and made us sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Who did it? God did it. Amen. My Lord. Yes, it Lord. Nothing, it was nothing that we done ourselves, but God did that. Yes, thing. yes. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Verse 7. That in the ages to come he might show the exceeding riches of his grace and his kindness toward us through Christ Jesus. See how the things that we used to do a long time ago and how God is yet showing his riches towards us even today? Yes, yes, sir. Thank you. And there are still Thank yet more riches that he has to, towards us, right? Thank you. Lord. Have to, as, as they were saying, the theme was stay in the race. Yes, sir. Keep running. Yes. Don't, don't stop by the wayside. Thank you, Jesus. Don't slow down. Mm -hmm. Just keep your pace. Thank you, Ask Jesus. God for endurance to keep running. Yes. Yes, Lord. yes, sir. You know, we all get tired and weary. Thank you, Jesus. But the yes, Bible says that God will give us grace. God yes. will give us strength. Yes. God will give yes. us everything that we need to conquer this race. Thank, Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Verse 8. For by grace are ye saved through faith, yes. and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God. Remember how he said that we gotta don't let our faith die. We have to keep the faith. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is right. co this is coincide with just what he was saying. We have to keep the faith. You know, if a if if a saint came to God and they didn't have faith, and nor did they in, inquire of say, I mean faith. Mm -hmm. How could they be saved? Number one, the faith is what got you here. Yes, yes, faith is what's going to keep you, you here. Jesus. Thank you. The Bible says faith is the substance of things hoped for. Yes, the yes. evidence of things not yes. seen. We don't see God. Thank we don't God. see heaven. <clears throat> but by faith we see these things. Yes, by faith yes. we are talking to God. Yes. Thank you, by Jesus. faith we are hoping to reach heaven. Yes. Mm -hmm. Thank but you, just imagine yourself without faith. What am I going to church for? What mm -hmm. am I praying for? Yes. Yes, what am I doing any of these things for? We have to keep the faith safe. Yes. 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 If we don't keep the faith, we That's always yes. perish. Thank you, Lord. You gotta have faith. Verse 9. Not of works, lest any man should boast. In other words, the things that we have obtained, it wasn't because of us. That's right. Thank you. It Jesus. was not because of us. Mm -hmm. But it was simply because of God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, In Jesus. other words, I can't boast. You can't boast. Oh, I did this. Oh, I did that. Hey, that's right. right. Thank you, God Jesus. did. Yes. And I God. thank God for it. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank God for it, Saint. Thank Amen. you, Jesus. I'm living because of him, not because of myself. Thank you, Lord. Yes, sir. Verse 10. For we are his workmanship, mm. created in Christ Jesus unto good works. Which God had before ordained that we should walk in them. Good works. Good works. He ordained this stuff a long time ago. Yes. He wanted us to walk in that a long time ago before he even made us. Thank you, Jesus. He wanted us to walk in his good works. Thank you, Jesus. Walk, walk in love. Walk in peace. Walk in not hatred. That's right. Not wrath. Yes, Lord. But walk yes. in the love of God. Thank you, Jesus. Right. It's like when you sit and you look at the world today. And you could say yesterday too, the day before that too. Why? Because the world have been going contrary to God for a long time, saints. Yes, sir. Thank How long? Jesus. Ever since he created man. Yes, yes. Thank you, Lord. But it's getting Jesus. worse and worse. I mean, it is Jesus. truly worse now. Yes. Mm. You know, mm. something I heard Elder Butler say a long time ago, which is scripture, and that's why I hold on to it. 
We look for things to get better, don't we? But according to the Bible, say they're going to get worse and worse. Mm -hmm. So why look for things to get better? Mm -hmm. With the time that we're living in now, it's bad. But tomorrow, it's going to be even worse. Mm -hmm. That's right. But at the same time, God is still on the throne. Yes, yes. Lord. Yes, Lord. <laughs> Not only is he on the throne, he sees what's going on. Yes, sir. He's going to judge right. every man according to the works that he does. So we have to strive for righteousness, Saint. Eh? Thank you, Jesus. We have to keep pressing. We have to keep running this race that is set before us. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Don't stop by the wayside. Mm -mm. We Thank don't have Lord. time to to to, to 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 just sit and and and, and, and you know Thank just you, be Jesus. by the wayside. We got to keep running. We got to keep pressing. Thank you. you know, yes, Lord. As Thank they you, say, Jesus. we're wasting time. Mm -hmm. Time is at hand. We don't have but a short time to be here. A short time. Ten years from now, some of us may be gone. Amen. Twenty years from now, some of us may be gone. Amen. Yes, sir. So, in other words, the clock is ticking. Amen. Jesus. And every, every tick of the clock, yes, Lord. We're, we're moving closer to yes, death. Lord. Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Yes, Lord Jesus. Verse 10 again. For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus unto good works, which God had before ordained that we should walk in them. Wherefore remember that ye being in the time in the time past Gentiles in the flesh, who are called uncircumcision, by that which is called the circumcision in the flesh made by hands. In other words, verse 11 again says, Wherefore remember. <clears throat> That ye being in time past Gentiles in the flesh. A Gentile is not a Jew. A Jew is not a Gentile. Mm -hmm. Right. In the Old Testament, the Jews were the people of God. Yeah. God set aside a certain sect of people that would, that would, would hear him and obey him. But those were the chosen Jews. Mm -hmm. The time that we are living in, saints... It's not about the natural Jew. That's why sometimes in life you run across people that's always, you know, having bickering spirits about the scripture. But when you, you know, when you learn the scripture, you hold on to truth. That's right. In other words, we were Gentiles. We were not the people of God to the point that we were born to where we were God's chosen people. Thank you, Jesus. But Thank according you. to the Bible, we were grafted in. Yes. Simply because the, the, the Jews, mm -hmm. by nature, they were disobedient to God. Mm -hmm. right. God right. was going to pretty much do away with them. But he engrafted in the Gentiles yeah. because yeah. they wanted to Thank be you, obedient Jesus. to the word of God. Thank you, but Jesus. they were not natural Jews. Thank right. you, Jesus. When you deal with a Gentile, you're dealing with more or less like the world, the worldly people. Mm -hmm. You're dealing with the uncircumcised. Mm -hmm. When you're dealing with the Jew, you're dealing with the spiritual people. You're yeah. dealing with the, circum the, the ones that are circumcised. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In the old law, they had to where they, they did a, 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 a natural circumcision. Yes, they would cut the foreskin of a man's private part off mm -hmm. to keep filth and so forth out of it. Mm -hmm. We mm -hmm. as saints of God, we have to cut away the filth of the world. Yes, we yes. have to be circumcised, like as the Bible says, right in our heart, right. in yes. our mind, yes. to yes. where we can get away from the world. Hmm. You know, that's why even the Bible says, love not the world, that's neither true. the things that are in the world. Right. For all that is in the world is lust of the eye, pride of life. It's not of the Father. Right. But we have to learn the ways of God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. The Bible say, you know, I thought about this when I was looking at the brothers because I really forgot to wear my, what you call that? That sheep. That sheep. <laughs> Sorry, Rick. But right there, Rick. then I thought about this. The Bible say put a difference. Mm -hmm. Put a difference. Mm -hmm. We as saints of God, we have to put a difference work between it, holy and unholy. All right, work on it, sir. Righteousness and unrighteousness. Yes, he did. I don't care how close a person may be to you that's trying to pull you or sway you into doing wrong, mm -hmm. 
Stand up for right. Yes, yes, sir. It's a, it, it, it's, a, it's, a t it's a tough job sometimes because you want to go with the course of the world. You want to go with your friends, so to speak. Mm -hmm. You know, when you get to be my age, I ain't got too many friends. Amen. I mean, I'm sorry, Rick. Amen. When, you, when you come to the house of God, when you come to the house of God, you don't have too many friends, friends. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. You know, I, I oftentimes think of a friend of mine that was a friend of mine. I say, we still communicate. But when we went to parties, we were together. Mm -hmm. You know, we'd go out to eat. We were together. Mm -hmm. Coming to the house of God, not myself. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Got you, brother. I mean, I've been here for a long time, and I thank God for it. Thank you, Jesus. Not, not one time. Mm -hmm. I mean, you would think if a friend, a friend will come sometime. In life science, sometimes you're going to have to walk this journey, run this journey. Yes, by Lord. Yes. Yes. All right, sir. Yes, sir. If you're running because someone is right there running beside you, you're going to you, gonna, you gonna hurt yourself one day because you're going to be disappointed. Yes. All right. But when you learn to run, Thank and you, have Jesus. the Lord, as they say, as your forerunner uh, before you, so to speak. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You got something to run for. Yes. My Lord. Thank you, you know, Jesus. We have to, you know, as the Bible says, lay aside every sin, every weight and sin, which, as the Bible says, do it so easily beset us. Yes. Yes. These yes. things, they beset us. They mm -hmm. slow us down. They hinder mm -hmm. us. Yes. Yes. We have to learn to triumph over these things. Thank you, Jesus. Why? Because we want to run this race to the end. End. We want to see God's face in peace. Yes. Amen. Yes, Lord. Easier said, but we got some work to do, Saint. Yes, right. yes, we do. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Verse 11 again. Wherefore, remember that ye being in time past Gentiles in the flesh, who are called, uncir who are called uncircumcised by that which is called the circumcision in the flesh, made by hand. In other words, hands did it back then. Hands made them uncir uh, made them circum they, they, the hands did the circumcision. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But thanks be to God, hands didn't didn't, didn't clean us up. Amen. My Lord, my but Lord. The Spirit cleaned us up. Yes, sir. Thank you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I wanna flip Thank over you, to mm. Thank you, Jesus. Wrong Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Second chapter of Romans. But I'm going to read verse 11 again. Wherefore, I remember, I'm back in Ephesians, but I'm going back to Romans. <clears throat> Ephesians 2 and verse 11 again. Wherefore, I remember that ye being in time past Gentiles in the flesh, who are called uncircumcised, uncircumcision, by that which is called the circumcision in the flesh made by hand. All right, Romans 2 and start at verse 25. Romans 2, verse 25. Mm -hmm. For circumcision verily profit mm -hmm. if thou keep the law. But if thou be a breaker of the law, thy circumcision is made uncircumcision. All right, hold it. For circumcision verily profit in other words, it truly profited. Mm -hmm. You know, when we got circumcised in the natural, it profited us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When you understood what it was for, it profited us. Mm -hmm. In the spirit, circumcision profited us as saints. Yes, yes. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, it does. Thank you, Jesus. It says, if thou keep, verse 25 again says, but circumcision barely profited. If thou keepest the law, mm -hmm. but if thou be a breaker of the law, mm -hmm. thy circumcision is made uncircumcised. And that's where we are today, saints. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we have been circumcised, but then we'll find ourselves back out doing worldly things. Mm -hmm. 
work out of sin. And when we do that, we become uncircumcised again. Mm -hmm. Again, when you're dealing with the natural Jew and the Gentile, there was, there, was a, there was a difference. The Jews were those that keep the law. There was, yes, in other words, were. you got a platform. You got the uncircumcised and you got the Gentile. Mm -hmm. Other mm -hmm. platform, you got the Jew and you got the circumcision. The Jew kept the law. Yes, they were yes. circumcised. The law told them that they had to be circumcised. Yes, Matter of fact, even in, even in the New Testament, there were certain men that the Bible said that they came in. They, they spoke to the people saying, except you be circumcised, you cannot be saved. Mm -hmm. But in other words, what they were doing, they had truth. Don't get me wrong. What they were saying was true to a certain extent. Mm -hmm. It was dealing with a different dispensation of time. Yes, yeah. When you were under the law, you had to be circumcised. Right. Mm -hmm. Or you could not be saved. Why? Because that was law. Right. When you right. come under grace and truth, that natural circumcision, you didn't have to do those things to be right. saved. Right. Matter of fact, I think it was Peter who said it like this, or Cornelius. He said, I, 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 I believe that if a man, I'm, I'm quoting it wrong, but he said, he that feareth God, and work in righteousness is mm -hmm. accepted with him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In other words, God don't have no respect of person. Mm -hmm. right. mm -hmm. He didn't say that you had to be circumcised, but you had to be, you had to fear God and you got to work righteousness. Yes, yes, thank you. Then you could be accepted with God. It doesn't matter who you are. Mm -hmm. thank you, now, what you. I've always looked at was if the men had to be circumcised, mm -hmm. what happened to the women? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Big difference. In the law, it was different. Mm -hmm. In grace and truth, there is no difference. Thank you, Jesus. In grace and truth, Amen. we all have to be circumcised. Uh, yes, sir. sir. We all got to cut away the foreskin of our heart. Those things that we desire to do that's ungodly, we got to cut that stuff out. Thank you, Jesus. The things that's not pleasing to God, but we want to do it, we got to cut that stuff out. Thank but you, Jesus. In other words, we got to do a spiritual operation. Yes. In other Thank words, you, get Lord. rid of it. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. All right, 25 again. For the for circumcision barely profit, if thou keepest the law, but if thou be a breaker of the law, thy circumcision is made uncircumcised. Verse 26. Therefore, if the uncircumcision keep the righteousness of the law, shall his uncircumcision be counted for the circumcision? In other words, if you got a worldly person, or we say a Gentile, because that's what we want, Gentile. Yeah. But if yeah. you got a, a worldly person, a Gentile that's striving to be obedient to God, and you got a Jew, because he's Jew and he's Jew by nature, and he's had, you know, in the Old Testament, he had his, you know, he's been circumcised, but he want to do wickedly, mm -hmm. in the eyesight of God, God would cast away that Jew and accept yeah. that Gentile because that Gentile is striving to do right. Yes, yes. That is the difference, saints. Thank it doesn't you. matter who you are. The Bible talks about, you know, uh, uh, those that run. As far as the first shall be last, and the last shall be first. Yes, yes. Sometimes it's people that we count, we count, we count out. They'll never be saved. Mm -hmm. But then we can get up and start sinning, and that person can run around. Yes, and amen. And that person can be the God amen. before we get there. He'll be in the kingdom waiting on us. Amen. How did you get here? Thank you, Jesus. By God's mercy. Thank you, Lord. Thank How you, did Jesus. you not get here? Because I was a sinner. Mm -hmm. Next you, verse. Jesus. Verse 27. And shall not uncircumcision, which is by nature, if it is fulfilled the law, judge thee who by the letter and circumcision does transgress the law. In other words, there have been times to where you can run across a person in the world and then you could be doing something that's that's worldly. Mm -hmm. And they'll look at you and say, you ain't supposed to be doing that. Mm -hmm. You know, that's kind of bad. Man. Mm -hmm. That's that's like flipping the screen. Mm -hmm. Here I am supposed to be a person of righteousness. What am I here doing wickedly? And here's a wicked person that ain't righteous, but they telling me that my what I'm doing is wrong. Mm -hmm. That mm -hmm. don't sound good. Mm -hmm. We're supposed to be the, the ones that's doing right, right and instructing those that are 
to do right. Amen. Next verse. Verse 28. For he is not a Jew, which is one Listen, at, Listen at this real close, man. Neither is no, that. No, no, start at that one again. 28. 28. For he is not a Jew, which he which is one outwardly. Mm -hmm. Neither is that circumcision, which is outward in the flesh. All right. So now you look at the outward. You know, we can look at the out, outside of a person. Oh, 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 oh they hold you say that, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We can look at another person. Oh, they unholy. You say that, right? Mm -hmm. Why? Because we're looking at the outside of that individual. All right, all right, sir. We can't see what's inside of that individual. Mm -hmm. All right, sir. Even when we come to church, just because we're in the church, I don't mean to, I mean, just when I say the church, I'm talking about the temple here. Mm -hmm. Just because we're in this building, yep. does not, all of us are not clean all the time. Amen. Sometimes we come into the, come into the temple, we're full of uh, 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 strife, we're full of envy, we're full of hatred, we're mm -hmm. full of all kind of evil spirits. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Help us but out. in the house of God, we're supposed to be right. We're supposed to come in right and stay right. Amen. Help us, Jesus. But he is not a Jew, which is one outwardly. Neither is that circumcision, which is outwardly in the flesh. In other words, he's making a comparison. Just because you are a Jew in the natural, and just because you have been circumcised in the natural, that don't make you saved. Mm -hmm. That don't make you all right with God. Mm -hmm. The next verse. Thank you, Jesus. Verse 29, but he is a Jew, which is one inwardly, and circumcision is that one of the heart, in the spirit, and not in the letter, whose praise is not of men, but of God. Amen. Thank you. But he is a Jew, which is one inwardly. Mm -hmm. And circumcision is that of the heart, mm -hmm. in the spirit and not in the letter, whose praise is not of men, but of God. Mm -hmm. In other words, sometimes you can look at a person again. Hey, he's doing right. But it, 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 he, could be, he could be pretending as though he's doing right, but mm -hmm. he's not doing right. But right. God judge all of us, saints. God knows what's in all of us. Yes, yes. He knows what you know, we sang a song, you know, search me, search me, search me, Lord. Yes. You know, you know whether I'm right. Yes. You know whether I'm wrong. Mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. Sometimes we can sing that song, but we Jesus. know within ourselves, I ain't all the way right. Thank you, Jesus. But I ain't all the way wrong. But mm -hmm. we have already searched our own self Thank by you. God's spirit. Jesus. But we still strive to be all right with God. Yes, yes, sir. First right. Corinthians twelfth chapter. Thank you, Jesus. Dealing with circumcision. Verse 2. 1 Corinthians 12 and verse 2. Ye mm -hmm. you know that ye were Gentiles carried away unto these dumb idols, even as ye were led. Wherefore I give you to understand that no man speaking by the Spirit of God calleth Jesus a curse, and that no man can say that Jesus is the Lord, but by the Holy Ghost. All right. You know that you were Gentiles carried away unto these dumb idols. Mm -hmm. A Gentile, a worldly person. A Gentile, one that don't have knowledge of God. Mm -hmm. In other words, it's easy to lead a person in the world astray. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. easy to lead a Gentile astray. Mm -hmm. Why? Jesus. Because he don't have the knowledge of God. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Once we submit ourselves to God, be born again. Yes, yes. We learn about God. It's not easy to, 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 to lead us astray. Yes. Mm -hmm. We have been deceived sometimes, but it's not easy to lead us astray. Yes. Why? Because we have been instructed by God. We have the knowledge of God. We know who God is. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jesus. We have to continue to hold on to those things, Saint. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. It's the circumcision. 
Colossians. I want to, uh, Colossians. Second chapter of Colossians. Start at verse 10. Second Colossians verse 10. And ye are complete in him, which is the head of all principality and power. In other words, all of the powers, I don't care who got who so called have power, God is ahead of all of those things. Yes. Amen. Amen. No matter how strong Satan may come, you know, Thank principality. You. God has all power. Yes, he does. So we have to pray to him. We have to trust in him. We have to look to him. Thank Next verse. Verse 11. In whom all you are circumcised. In whom in also. In whom also you are circumcised with the circumcision made without hands. And putting out the body of the sins of the flesh yes. by the circumcision of Christ. Yes. All right. Mm -hmm. yes. Now you Amen. see the circumcision that God has wrote in our life. Amen. Yes, sir. His circumcision did not need the hand or the aid of man. Mm -hmm. But it was a spiritual operation. Yes, yes. God cut on every one of us and nobody bled out. Thank you, Jesus. Nobody died, nobody died in the natural. Thank you, Jesus. Because it was a spiritual operation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It was an operation that was done by God. Thank you, Lord. To the point of saving our life. Thank you, you know, Jesus. That is the difference between the natural operation and God's spiritual operation. Yeah. God's spiritual operation don't need the aid of man. Amen. But God's spiritual operation, it helped us to, to be able to be what we are today. Yes. yes and it's still yet helping us to strive for the master, striving for the king. Mm. Yeah. Verse 11 again. In whom, all, in, in whom also ye are circumcised, with the circumcision made without hand, mm. in putting off the body of sin, of the flesh, by the circumcision of Christ. In other words, we've taken on a new man. Yes, yes. We've yes. taken on Christ. Mm -hmm. You know, away with our old flesh, our right. old ways, our yes. old mind, yes. our right. way of Jesus. thinking, our ways of doing. Mm -hmm. It's about the new life, saints. My Lord. The right. new Jesus. life. Thank you. We're supposed to strive to walk in the newness of Christ. That's right. Thank you, Jesus. Verse 12. Buried with him in baptism, wherein also ye are risen with him through the faith of the operation of God. In other who, words, go ahead. Who have raised him from the dead. In other words, we are buried with him. You know, the, the pool used to be in the back, so we used to say, you know, I went down in that liquid, liquid uh, grave and I rose up. In the newness of life. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah. In other words, Thank you, that birth brought us in a new way of thinking, yes. a new yes. way of walking, yes. a new yes. way of talking, yes. a new way of dealing with everything in this life. Yes, Lord. A new Thank way. Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you. And it's still yet bringing us into new life. Yes, yes. it is. Thank you. Because we're, we're, we're always faced with things in the natural. But we have to go about it in a spiritual manner. Yes. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Sometimes the flesh will get in the way, but we have to kind of kick flesh back. Because flesh mm -hmm. will rise up, right? Yes. yes, it will. But we have to yes. make flesh be subjected to the Spirit of yes. God. Yes. Let the yes. Spirit rule. When the Spirit rule, it's good. Amen. Right. You know, I, I, I've watched people sometimes in life have an argument in the natural. Hmm. But I learned from those things. You can have an argument in the natural. We can have an argument in the natural. Mm -hmm. But if we settle it in the spirit, mm -hmm. we don't have to worry about it anymore. My Lord. But the majority of times, especially Gentiles, especially worldly folks, they can have an argument and it ain't over. Mm -hmm. I'll come back and get you tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Oh, 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 you will be dealt with. Mm -hmm. Saints of God are not supposed to be like that. Yes, no, sir. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. Yes, yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Anytime you find a, 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 a saint, I'm going to say a saint or a so-called saint that's acting like that, check them. 
Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. Check, yes. check them by the word of God. Amen. Brother, sister, we are, we, we, we're not supposed to be like that. Yes. Amen. Thank you, Amen, sir. We are the, we are the circumcision. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Jesus. We are the spiritual Jews. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Thank we are you, the Jesus. ones that keep the law. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. So let Thank us Lord. pray one for another in Jesus Christ's name. I do pray hope that you gather something. I think, did I finish? Uh, read verse 13 for me, please. Verse 13. And you, and you, being dead in your sins and the uncircumcision of your flesh, hath he quickened together with him, having forgiven you all trespasses. Isn't that a blessing, saints? Amen. Isn't that a blessing? We first started off in Ephesians where it says, and you hath he quickened who were dead in trespasses mm-hmm. and in sin. God quickened all of us. Yes, mm-hmm. thank you. All Lord. of us that have the spirit, all of us that repent, God has quickened us. Yes. He don't want us to live in sin. No, he he don't want us to no, live in a dead life. No, he he wants us to live in a life that's lived, that, 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 that is about living throughout eternity. Thank you, Jesus. So, with that being said, pray for me and I'll pray for you likewise. Pray and hope that you have gathered something with you. Pray that you can take it with you wherever you go in Jesus Christ's name. May the Lord strengthen all of us in Jesus Christ's name. Serve us down the hands of Elder Father. Amen. 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 Thank God for this chance, this opportunity. Thank God for the great right bringing forth the words of truth. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Dead in this world that we are living in, dead Amen. to the things of the world, that our heart has to be circumcised. Mm-hmm. It has to be mm-hmm. that thing, those things cut apart, cut away from us. Yeah. Yes. We just thank God for that. Thank in the name Lord, of the Lord Jesus. Jesus Christ, we thank God also for the, <clears throat> the youth. Um, Amen. 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 The scripture that was read, he had to run the race, mm-hmm. run all. Mm-hmm. But then he said, one, obtain the prize. One up Is that right? Yes, so sir. Thank God. You know, Peter preached on the day of Pentecost. On the day of Pentecost, he said, repent, be baptized, every one of you, yes. in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's get that scripture right brief, Brother Rick. We thank God for all things. Thank God for brothers and sisters. The sisters from Quitman. Amen. 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 Thank God for just being here. All right, verse chapter uh, Acts 234. Let's hear it. But David is not extended into heaven. David ain't going nowhere. But he said to himself, What? The Lord said unto my Lord. The Lord said unto my Lord. Sit thou on my right hand. Uh huh. Until I make thy foes thy footstool. Yes. Therefore let all the house of Israel know assuredly. What? That God hath made that same Jesus whom you have crucified. God made the same Jesus, the one that they thought they was getting rid of, that made him. Both Lord. He's Lord. And Christ. And Christ. Ain't that something? They didn't realize they were getting rid of the Prince of Peace. They didn't realize who it was. They didn't realize that it was the Son of God. Is that right? Exactly. Well, you should let them know God that made the one that you thought you was getting rid of. He's Lord and Christ. Amen. What else happened? Now when they heard this. When they heard this, they got they got they got shook up. Yeah. You know, they were, man, I don't got rid of it's like you think you don't got rid of somebody and then you find out that they're more than what? Yeah. You thought. Yeah. Is that all right? Yeah. <laughs> He's both Lord and Christ. And what else he said? Right? Now when they heard this, when they heard this, they, they were they were pricked in their heart. Pricked in their heart. And said unto Thank Peter you, and to the rest of the apostles, Men and brothers, yeah. what shall we do? What shall we do? And that's what everybody should think. Amen. You know what? I've, I've sinned. I've done these things that was contrary to the will of God. And I need my sins forgiven. Yeah. Yeah. I need yeah. to be helped. I need yeah, to be what God would have me to be. Mm-hmm. And he said, Men and brethren. What shall we do? Mm-hmm. What happens? Then Peter said unto them, What? Repent. That's what everybody needs to do. Everyone. My Lord. Thank you. Repent. Yeah. There's no need of getting baptized if you haven't repented. 
Amen. 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 You just say, I want to get baptized and ain't repenting. That ain't going to help you because repentance is becoming godly sorrow. Yes. Yes. All the sins you're committing, yes. you want to do right. Yes. You want to please God according yes. to his eternal will. You want to walk, as he was saying, circumspectly. Yes. Not as a fool, but wise. Is that right? Yes. So a lot of times people get baptized, they just get wet, but they haven't repented. Yes. It means something to repent. Yes. Yes. Yes, sir. And we thank God for repentance because repentance is so important in our lives, even after living and being holy, Christian, uh, you know, living godly, you know, you can slip. Yes. Scripture says a, a, a just man falls seven times yes, Lord. and get up again. Yes. But when you're getting up and you've done something, you have to repent. Amen. Yes. You don't just do something and say, well, I'm doing it and all I got to do is come back and repent. No, you got to repent from your heart. Amen. Not think, see, God ain't nothing to play with. You can't even say, well, I'm going to do this and I'm going to repent. God forgive me. No. You got to do what you do from your heart. Yeah. That's why repentance is so important for everybody. Amen. Is that right? Yes, it is. You got to do it from your heart. And when you do it from your heart, God knows that. Because one day scripture says, oh, Lord, thy search me. Yes, Did he Lord. say so? Yes, and you know me. Yeah. You know my down said, you know my uprising. You are acquainted. Yeah. With all of my ways. Yes, sir. So when Thank we truly you. repent, even if I've done something incorrect and I truly repent, God knows. Yes, Lord. Yes, He does. Whether I really repent. Yes, so let's not try to fool you. Him. When you do it from your heart, you know, the one scripture says, uh, the, 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 the godliness worketh repentance. Yeah, yes, sir. You know, godliness, you know, you're hurt, you're, you're sorrowful about something. You know, it, Godly sorrow, that's it. Godly sorrow, work of repentance. Don't it do so. So we thank God for all things. What else is that, Rick? Then, then Peter said unto them, Then Peter said to them, Repent, repent and be baptized every one of you. And be baptized every one of you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. For the remission of sin. For the remission of sin. And you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, sir. For the remission. Every sin that you have ever done. You repent. And you go down in water. In the name of Jesus Christ. Is forgiven. Amen. 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 All have sinned. And come short of God's glory. Yes, but when you repent, is that right? Amen. And be baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ. Every sin that you ever done. Yes, and don't let sin think, well, you ain't even been forgiven. The scripture says so. Yes, it now. Didn't yes, say so. Yes, you can be baptized in one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission. If there had not been the shedding of yes, Jesus' blood. Lord. Then there will be no remission of sin. But because Jesus died, shedding blood for us. When we go down in water in the name of Jesus Christ, our sins have been remitted. I know. As one of the to say the song, my soul has been redeemed. Is that right? So we thank God for that. What does it say, Rick? Repent and be baptized. Repent be baptized. Every one, of you, Every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of sin, for the remission of sin, for the removing of sin. What's going to happen? And you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. All right, that's 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 a step. Yes, Lord. Those are the steps. Yeah. So you get baptized in the name of Jesus Christ Jesus. for the remission of sin. Okay. Is that right? Jesus. And you say you shall receive the gift yes. of the Holy Ghost. Those of you. That are seeking the Lord that have not yet received the Holy Ghost, don't be discouraged. Yes, but just remember, God is a God of His Word. Yes, He is. And He will fill your soul with yes, the Holy Ghost. A lot of people get discouraged. But you can't get discouraged. You know, I heard him say earlier about running a race. Mm -hmm. You're running a race, you know, and you fall. Sometimes people, you run a race and you fall, a real sprinter, a real runner. They want to get up and they'll keep running. Yes. Though they lost. Mm -hmm. They finish the race. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Is that right? That's right. Amen. So you run with patience. The race has to go. You may fall. You may slip. You may have a setback. But you get up and you just keep on running. 
Is that right? Amen. Amen. So we thank God for all things in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Does anyone want to get baptized in the name of Jesus Christ? Sell your feet. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank God for you. Your name is Betty Ross. Betty Ross. Yes. You have a testimony, Betty, you want to yes. share with us? Thank you, Jesus. No? Hello? Well, come up here, Betty. Thank you, I'm going to pray for you before you go Amen. to the pool. Yes. Now, sometimes, sometimes people pray, pray in the pool, but I'm going to pray for you out the pool because you know you get in the pool, you be ready to get baptized. Mm -hmm. I'm going to pray for you in the name of the Lord Jesus. Yes. Righteous Father. We actually look down on Ms. Ross. Lord God, she has decided and repented. Believe that you are who you are, the Son of God. We ask that you will look down upon her, Lord God, and strengthen and bless her according to your will, that she will continue, Lord God, in the doctrine of the apostles. We just thank you for her heart and her mind. You that knows that, Lord God. In the name of Jesus Christ, look on her and bless her, Lord God, according to your will. That you, Lord God, and that you alone yes, will be glorified. Yes. And Lord, that she will grow and give you the praise and give you the honor. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Let's get you ready. Go with your people. Can we with her? We thank God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. So stand firm, all of you. Jesus. We thank God for each and every one. May God ever continue to bless and to keep us with a mind to look to Him in the name of Jesus Christ. You can sit down. Yeah, I can sit down. We ain't trying to go over right now. But we thank God for all of you. Thank God, I just say for the words from Brother Rick in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Glad for all things in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We thank God for it. Ministering brother, brother Rick, you know, he's been, been around a long time, been faithful and striving to be himself faithful. And we just thank God for that. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. So Amen. we just thank God for all things. And we pray that God will ever bless because it's all about proving faithful unto God. Amen. See, you know, you stop being faithful to man, you know, because man disappoints on him. Yes, sir. But God is a, a faithful God. And we have to be faithful unto him in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. So stay encouraged, all of you. May God ever continue to bless you all and keep you. We're glad for everyone that is here present. We are certainly glad for all the brothers and everything. And so continue to stay encouraged and be encouraged in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, you see us in our attire. I went to Ghana. Amen. I thought it would be put me Robbery. I thought about the brethren. I said, you know what? I'm going to get all the brothers uh, dashiki. So when I went to Ghana, I was able to uh, purchase uh, the dashikis, and that's why you see me in my attire. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ghana Amen. was a, a very, it's a, it's a special place. It's a different place. And we just thank God for uh, what our hearts felt and what our eyes seen. We not, may not realize it, but we are. We are a very, very blessed people. You know, sometimes you may not have what you want or what you think you may need, but when you go in a place like that and you see certain things that make you appreciate what you have, you are really rich. Know. See, we set our riches and our boundaries on people that's of high status over here. Mm. And you know, I ain't got the mention. I don't have this or I don't have the other. But when you go a place like that and you come back home, mm. the thing that you thought you didn't have and didn't appreciate, wow. you can appreciate it even more Amen. in the name Amen. of Lord Jesus. Jesus. As far as wa even washing your clothes, mm. is that right? Amen. You know, people don't do it no more. But they used to wash clothes by hand a long time ago. Yep. You know, and I, I, I was in that era. I had to get up and wash clothes and I was on a scrub bowl. Some of y'all don't know what a scrub yes, bowl it is. Yes, all right, uh, but I used to wash clothes on a scrub Amen. bowl. Amen. I'd get up early in the morning. Sometimes they would take them big old round pots and boil it. Depending on how dirty it was, they would boil it. They would boil it and get a set of fire. 
Then they want to really get it clean and put a little, little lie in there. Not a lie verbally. <laughs> but it's something right. called a lie. Yes, sir. You put it in there, you let it sit in there, and you beat it and you do what you have to do with it, and you wash it by hand. Mm. Well, you know, I've done that, and I was in Ghana. I've seen people, just more than one family, in a stream of water washing their clothes and shaking them and washing them out. And, you know, all these things. A lady with her three children around her cooking outside with a, with a big pot, you know, trying to get the meals ready. But it was a lot of things that I observed when I was there. Yes, sir. For those Amen. 10 or 14 days. Jesus. And I come back home, I can say, we're blessed. Amen. You know, we, we can be in a service. Now, you know how you all would feel if you were in a service and there wasn't no AC in here. Mm-hmm. You'd like be getting irritated, you'd be looking at it. Right? Yeah. All yeah. kinds yeah. of yeah. 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 It was in services where you didn't have that comfort. Mm-hmm. See, we are comfortable. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. We live in comfort. Oh, yes, where right. They live over there, they live in survival mode. Mm-hmm. Is that right? Mm-hmm. So I was glad to be able to go to Ghana and play for my son-in-law, which is a Ghanaian, Edward. You know, mm-hmm. he allowed us to go there. I Sometimes so I wish that a group of people could go over there and just visit yeah. and just to see. Mm. You know things. You know, Africa, you know when the electricity get to a certain point, I don't care if it is hot, it gonna shut down. Mm. And they did that three or four times when we were there. Yeah. Yeah, right. Ain't no need to get upset. I learned something when I was there. The scripture came to me. Paul said, "I learned that whatever stays." Yes. Yes. That's all right, Lil. Yes, sir. I, I, that's what I quote. I learned whatever state I find myself, my Lord. Be content. Yes. My Lord. Hallelujah. You have to be that way. You have Hallelujah. To, be to that point in life because you. you won't be able to get all these nice amenities. That's all right. That we though. have. You know, oh. tell we we was even struggling trying to get ice. Ooh. To drink some iced tea or ice water. Mm-hmm. Huh? Mm-hmm. So we're blessed. Thank you. We're Jesus. blessed. Thank you, Lord. And learn to be able to. Thank God for what food you have. Yeah. If you ain't got this or that, just don't be so quick to throw it away. Yeah. You know, Amen. We eat on it a couple of days. Yes, Lord. You learn things. Amen. I even, I even learned to eat with my hand. Yes, sir. Uh-huh. Yes, sir. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You eat with your hand. Yeah, I learned that. Uh-huh. And then you have to be careful. Over there, this is just a tradition, I believe. It. You know, they. They, most of them, a lot of the Ghanaians, they don't eat with their left hand. They eat with their right hand. Mm-hmm. And I looked it up. You can look it up if you want. I want to go into it. But I, I was doing some research before my son-in-law, Edward, took us over there. And I was researching those things. Mm-hmm. And I see why they don't. You know, I'm not saying all of them. It's just like people that in England, when I went to England, people use a, a knife and a fork. They use a knife and a fork. And they, they use that while they're eating. And I always wonder, I said, why do you eat with a knife and a fork? Holding, pushing food up on, on their uh, fork with a knife. But you learn the different cultures mm-hmm. when you go different places. But yes, sir. over in Ghana, it was a very good experience in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And I say this, and then I wrote a little journal. I wrote, I wrote something every day I was there. Uh, I, I still got it. I haven't even went through it yet, but I mm-hmm. have it. So I'll write it. Uh, I have somebody to proof it and put the right word because sometimes you use certain English, but it's, it's not you know appropriate. But nevertheless, you know I did that and I made sure that I you know wrote those things down. You know that I saw and the things that that I experienced. You know and it's a great experience. And one thing that I experienced about that they they serve the Lord. They don't they don't mind praising the Lord. I went to Edwards Brothers Church's um, Pastor William. And uh, we had to travel to get there, you know, bumpy. That's another thing, bumpy roads. Um, be glad when you got an AC in your car and you got good roads. Some people, we got good roads and people still don't come to church. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Amen, Amen. 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 I'm telling you, they got, I'm, I'm telling you, Amen. you went over there. Amen. You, you, you bumping, you dodging, you this and that, but it's, 
it was an experience. Oh, I just sat back. Whatever state I find myself, in, I'm gonna be content. I ain't wanna be grumbling. I ain't wanna be saying nothing negative. It's all right. Because this is a whole new culture, a whole new Thank thing. You, I was dealing with it. One thing that I, I dealt with, you know, the pastor, brother Edwards, dad, son, uh, brother, he said, Louis well, yeah, Pastor Butler, you know, your bishop, they come. I don't, I don't exalt myself with those names. So if you call me brother, I'm fine. But I am a brother. Okay. But uh, he said, we have him over in America. He's going to pray for all of us. You know, it, it wasn't just everybody stand and pray. It was a line. I had never prayed so long <laughs> for so many people. That was interesting. But it was, some, it was from the heart. Amen. It, wasn't, it was from the heart. You know, I'm praying, I'm praying. And they come and they bow down. They bow down before me. And it's like, man, these people are humming themselves. And you know, you're praying, I'm praying. Every them want to try to give me some water. I didn't want no water. The only thing I had to do was sit down because my legs bothered me after so long. After I stand up for a long, long time. So y'all pray for me in that area. But I was praying, praying, praying. And I looked up and thought the line was short, right? I looked back up the line and then I got longer. <laughs> <laughs> bless it, just bless Lord, it. Lord, Lord, Lord. I keep praying. Yeah, yeah. I couldn't give up. But it had to be sincere. Yeah. Because you can have women come with babies on their backs, because they carry the babies on their backs. You know, and they bring the baby, turn the baby around, and they, I'm a woman, come pray. I mean, come in just different areas of life. Yeah. And you pray that God will deliver them. Jesus. Because they just. They need deliverance and they want deliverance and they want to serve God. And uh, we are over here, we are blessed. And I think sometimes because we have so many different amenities and so many different things yes, that we are well, somewhat spoiled. Mm -hmm. yes. You know, Amen. if you go somewhere, if we here in America, we go somewhere and we go to the Holiday Inn or the Hilton or whatever, and the air conditioning's not working, we start to grumble, don't we? Mm -hmm. I see ain't working this No. You may, you may go in a place there and the agonist just shut down. Yes, sir. And ain't nothing they can do about it because that's the way the culture is. After so many watts or whatever, and, it's, and they go over that, they just shut it down and bring things back. And a lot of them, they are, they are powered by the water that runs down the river into a big thing that, that keep things turning. So you're praying for rain, you're hoping it rain, and all of these things. But nevertheless, we thank God for, for that journey. And you know, maybe some of you may be able to get a chance to experience something of that nature. But it's a, it's a great thing, you know, to be able to go to a place or a remote place like that. And I know I was talking to my son-in-law. I said, Eddie, yeah, you know, it's, he said, he said it's, it's worse place. We could have went on down the road and left father. And so, worse things. Mm. You know, people are living, but they are not living like we are. Amen. You know, Amen. you don't see too many people side the road with a sign in their hand. Mm. And look like they, they ain't lost no meal. Mm. Well, you see that here in America, don't you? Mm -hmm. Stand aside with a sign in their hand. But them people that they be working, they be selling peanuts, they be selling plantains. They be selling just different stuff, mm. you know, and they'll come around your your car, uh, your vehicle, and they, they they be looking at you. They want you to buy something, mm -hmm. you know. Yes, sometimes you know you you buy certain things. Is that right? Mm -hmm. So we we thank God for all things in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. So pray much, pray one for another, pray the will of the Lord be done in all of our lives. Amen. Is there any more? Nothing else we thank God for all things. We're going to get ready to go baptize the sister in the name of Jesus Christ. And we just thank God for this chance and this great opportunity that the Lord has granted unto us. Let's just go ahead. You have something you need to say. Okay, let us all stand. Thank you, Lord. Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling, present your fathers with the bliss of his glory, with exceeding joy. To the only wise God, our Savior, be glory, match, dominion, and power. Both now and ever, let us say it together. Amen. Amen. Amen.